all right welcome back trigger a lot trigger a lot trigger a lot uh who said i didn't want them yesterday who was that person was it marriott somebody said i didn't want them yesterday whoever that person is trigger a lot right now there's going to be some curses here and there okay all right so these brothers here i follow them okay i'll tell you a little bit about them i do follow them um let's follow but i don't really watch the video that much i stumble into every now and then I used to watch it quite a bit uh, for a while. So the way I the way I consume content is that I will watch a little bit, and then you know I get tired of it and I move on to something else because after a while it gets still, you know. So but they're still on my radar. And in fact, the gentleman on the left is the one that's scheduled to be with us on Monday night. His name is Steve Williams. Okay, he's the one that talks about game. They both talk about game for men. So this session is actually for the brothers and. Uh, uh, I'm curious to know what you're what you're gonna get out of this, okay? But I love this particular clip because um, because of the dragging, uh, R.I.P. to <laughs> to Kevin Samuels of the dragging of Kevin Samuels' legacy and Anton Daniels, okay? If you don't know Anton Daniels, uh, ask Chinye and uh, and Natu. <laughs> I just leave it at that for now, okay? Um, let me play uh, this video and then we'll talk about it. The caption says, YouTubers like Kevin Samuels and Anton Daniels cannot teach you game. I personally agree 100%. Okay? They will teach you who's to be held accountable and who's to not be held accountable. They might just hold you accountable yourself. Okay? They will teach you what is supposed to be in society. They can't teach you game. Okay? They will teach you morals, moral standards and stuff like that. Shout out to those brothers and the legacy of Kevin Samuels. They're not going to teach you game. They can't teach you game. Okay? When we talk about game, it's a lot more involved in it than common sense. Obviously. Right? So, and that's why I would love to have this conversation with him on Monday if he makes it. But uh, let's let's play. Let me play this video for you again. Trigger a lot, okay? When I say trigger a lot, nobody's dropping out suddenly. But anyway, trigger a lot. Mm -hmm. Say that again. What is your name, and where are you calling from, sir? Uh, my name's uh, Buck. I'm calling up from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. How can we help you, sir? All right. So I was pretty much calling because I have a question. Now the question is, I'm a guy that can, you know, get women, get into relationships. <laughs> All right, so Steve is already shaking his head. Anytime a guy said, I'm a guy, brothers, listen to this. I'm a guy that can get women. You called into a show about game. Okay. <laughs> All right. You called into a show where it's about teaching men game. And then you start with, I'm a guy that I can get women, uh, and uh, you know, I'm like, um, uh, yeah. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> let's continue, let's continue. And facilitating the whole night. What I found is I started listening to Kevin Samuels and I started listening to a couple other life coaches like Anton Daniels and whatnot. Well, go ahead. He said he started listening to Kevin Summers and I pump, 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 pump. I need that sound effect badly. <laughs> right? That's why you shoot yourself on the legs, brothers. All right? Let me tell you something. Let me give you a very bold statement. If you come here with your full chest talking about you listen to Kevin Summers, What was wrong with you? <laughs> right? Okay. It's not everybody that listens to Kevin Sound that something is wrong with. But when they with their full chest like that, it's always something to, you know. I, I listen to Kevin Sound it's more devourer stuff, you know. Um a lot of men listen to him. A lot of normal, regular men listen to him. But uh the ones that are obsessed with making it known up front, yeah, there's always something there. It's always something. Yeah. That message resonates with you for a reason. But anyway, let's continue. Yeah, so I, mean, I started better in my life. You know what I mean? He said he started better in his life. Started saving my money, got in shape, <laughs> They're got laughing. my body right. And I saw how it made it easier to get one. Oh, let me make it bigger. Mm -hmm. 
Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back. I have to start all over. Get women, get in relationships. All right, I have to start over. He said he made it easier for him to get more women. Okay. Sir. I'm starting all over. Say that again. What is your name and where are you calling from, sir? Uh, my name is uh, Buck. I'm calling up from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. How can we help you, sir? All right. So I was pretty much calling because I have a question. Now, the question is, I'm a guy that can, you know, get women, get into relationships and facilitate in the whole nine. What I found is I started listening to Kevin Samuels and I started listening to a couple other life coaches like Anton Daniels and whatnot. Well, go ahead. Yeah, so I mean, I started bettering my life, you know what I mean? Started saving my money, got in shape, got my body right, and I saw how it made it easier. He got his body right. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm asking is how does a man who's able to get women, get in a relationship with women, learn to... I, I, at this point, they can tell this line. I can tell this line, okay? They're often li liars, you know. Um, he said he, he got his body in shape and all. He made it easy for him to get more women. No, Riro. <laughs> no, Riro. It's, the cap. <laughs> it's a lie. And, and the funny thing is that they don't understand why we're able to... That's what I mean by game. Social intelligence, social awkward, social. It's not a crime that you have these things, but you gotta look at your results and say, hey, I'm not getting the result I'm looking for. Uh, there might be something I can't see, right? But they also, they tend to be coconut heads. Dealers of all day. <laughs> Listen, I don't know, these people, man. Let's continue. Stay in masculine frame. You're not because what I'm. <laughs> He said, who's able to get women getting, he said, how should I, he, this question is, want to learn how to stay in masculine frame once he gets a woman or something like that. <sighs> Hold on. Sir. Say that again. What is your name and where are you calling from, sir? Uh, my name is uh, Buck. I'm calling up from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. How can we help you, sir? All right. So I was pretty much calling because I have a question. Now the question is, I'm a guy that can, you know, get women, get into relationships, <laughs> and facilitate. He started shaking his head immediately. In the whole night, what I found is I started listening to Kevin Samuels and I started listening to a couple other life coaches like Anton Daniels and whatnot. He said he started listening to other coaches like Anton Daniels. Uh, well, go ahead. Yeah, so I mean, I started bettering my life. You know what I mean. Started saving my money, got in shape, got my body right, and I saw how it made it easier to get more women. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm asking is, how does a man who's able to get women, get in relationship with women, learn to stay in masculine frame? How does a woman who is able to get women? Learn to stay in his masculine frame. <sighs> this is what I hate about the terminologies, the psychological terms, the textbook terms. This is what I hate about them. It's always a weirdo who think once they use it, we just believe them suddenly that they have the game. <laughs> you know, say, if you're so good at getting women, why did you feel the need to rebrand yourself and get your look? I know, right? No, he was after he started listening to Kevin Salmon and Anton Daniels. That's when he started. You're not because what I'm. Wait, hey, what the? Hold on. What is a masculine? What the fuck is a frame? <laughs> What's masculine mean? frame? No, that's why you. That's why you don't get no. That's why women don't get you. And this is why you some sucker shit. I say this with love. I want to listen. I want you. To I mean, you ain't. You, first of all, we're gonna talk like sir, sir, you know, real sir, men with sir, each other sir, because sir, I get me. He said, "Real men will talk with each other. It's trying to police how they talk now. You call into that show." Hopefully you know how to talk on that show. Again, your social intelligence is low. You call into that show, no, you know how to talk on that show. You're gonna to try to control how to talk. You better be ready for bass bulls. Most likely, you're not ready for that bass bulls. You're getting caught up in your feelings. Let's go. So it's not about not getting women. I'm calling about a personal question for myself. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, so call it. Hold on. So what is masculine frame? What does that mean? <laughs> 
what is that? What is masculine frame? I know what they mean, but they don't know what they mean. <laughs> the person that's usually using the phrase, they don't know what they're talking about. Masculine frame, like, you know, stand, standing on business, uh, not reverting. That's lame, stupid. Not, it's uh, not what you say, it's how you show up. Uh, pretty much like what the last caller was saying. Oh, wait, wait, caller, 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 caller. So if, if something is in a frame, can I take it out of the frame? Yeah, you can come out of frame. Okay, so then does that mean is is it is the frame masculine or the picture masculine? What do you mean? Oh my god. If if there's a frame, if I have a picture in a frame, you're saying masculine frame. So that means the frame is masculine, not the picture, correct? I mean, if you want to use that uh, that example, you used it. Um, yeah, the English is not English in. All right, this is this YouTube streets. This is what you find in this YouTube streets. Dilo say, okay, I feel bad for him now. At least he's honest. He's in his feminine energy. <laughs> he wants to stay in the. You know, he wants. He wants to stay in the masculine frame. He doesn't want to get back into feminine frame. Yeah, it sounds stupid. It still sounds stupid. I don't know. Oh Lord. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So you said masculine frame. Yeah. So that means the frame. That means that you're not masculine. All right. The name of this guy on the right. His name is Locari, Mr. Locari. He's much more patient than Steve. They have different styles of delivery, but they teach basically the same thing, right? Um. He's trying. He's trying to help him, but let's see. But uh, at this point, Steve uh, is, is pissed off. Uh, but but he's trying to teach, essentially. Could be men, correct? So, so caller, that means that you're not masculine. That's what we're trying to tell you. You're not a man. Let me take call. Let me ask you a question. If I want to be a lawyer, do I go to a cook to learn? Do I go All right, those are shots fired at Anton Daniels and Kevin Samuels. I agree with him. <laughs> so then why the fuck are you going to two motherfuckers that don't have game trying to teach you some game Ouch. they're teaching you how to get fire your finances that's not game that's it money is not game that's teach you how to be financial financially free that has nothing to do with the game sir so that's strike. i mean i don't but that's, a, that's sir, the thing i don't need games i already got game you don't Wait, that's one thing. he said he doesn't need game you already got game Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So let me, so hold on, hold on. So let me, how do you call her? Brothers, how many of you are watching this video and you said you don't need game? Say it in the comments. I, when you're, I know you, when you're watching replay later, you'll tell me you don't need game. Tell me in the comment that you don't need game. Say it with your full chest. Okay. Let's keep going. You got me 39. Oh my. 39. Okay. It's 39 years old. Okay, now. Let me ask you a question. Uh, these women that these women that you're getting, how did you get them? Give us an example. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, because I'm like old school, I don't really go on online or nothing. So I cold uh, approach. He cold approach. Another terminology. Okay, this person that's read too much books than put themselves out there to actually have experience. That's what you're hearing. You're hearing a 39 year old man that refused to put himself out there and get a few rejections so he can have some experience, uh, but he's read a lot of books, okay? He's definitely read The Rational Mill, which is where they talk about masculine frame. He's been reading books uh, about dating, okay? He's been watching a lot of YouTube videos about dating, which there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Uh, but he's refused to get the help he needs at a personal level. Um, and this is what it looks like. We can tell, okay? All you have to do is open your mouth on uh, uh, audio and we can tell. And if it's real life, all you have to do is walk into a room. We could tell. It's the way you carry yourself. Uh -huh. Somewhere, you know, I go up to a lady, let her know she's beautiful or I'm killing her. Oh my God. You know, we may go out. Somewhere. Now it's narrating how he toasts women. Where, hang out. Wait, go out where? Go out where? Tell us the last, last two dates you went on. Good question. Specifics. Uh, the last two dates I've been on. Well, I'm currently in a relationship, so that wouldn't really count. <laughs> okay, so how long how long you been with your girl? Oh my 
He's not judging him. How long have you been with your girl? Uh, going on four months. Four months? So so you, you met this woman four months ago? Well, I met her in January, but uh, we made it official in June. So you was only with a woman for six months and you made it your girlfriend? Well, I actually had two women. Um, now he has to prove his point. First of all, I don't see anything wrong with making the girl you met six months, your girlfriend. Six months is a long time ago. But um, why can't he say with his foot just like, yes, she's been my girlfriend for six months. You know why? Because he's not sure of himself. He has to, he has to shalaya himself. He has to explain himself to them. He's shaking his boots right now. My mate, I was like in a poly situation. Okay. He just said poly situation, Willie. Really. <laughs> so, so you made two women your girl. He can't, he can't figure out how to stay in masculine frame with one girlfriend. He's talking about poly situation. <laughs> this people, man. Not be juju be that. <laughs> girl in six months. Oh my God. Should I say that one more time? I said, so you made two women your girlfriend in six months of knowing them? I did. Okay, so what, what did they do in six months to, to show you they were worth being a girlfriend? Uh, so it was kind of... No, the question is that what did he do to show that he's worth to be their boyfriend? That should have been the question. Like a split with both women. One, she was like more of a, an emotional pull. So, you know, I, I like hang around her from an emotional aspect. Wait, wait, and then the right? other stop, one wait, was stop. like, she was stop. super solid. Stop. So me and her would probably argue like cats and dogs. Stop. But at the end of the day, no. if we argued or not, stop. like let's say I needed her for something, I could please, be like, hey, my, my, I need you to pick my kid up. Wait, wait, I need to do he said, he tell her I need you for something. I need you to pick my kids up. That's how he's treating one girl, <laughs> right? We can have a <laughs> You know, disagreement or argument just I'm done. So, wait, wait, wait. So you argue with your women? Fuck no. And emotional. He said he emotional with the bitch and he argue with the bitches and he think he got game. Yeah, yeah, I have argued with women. You see, he, with his food test, I have argued with women. Like, okay, we've all argued with women. But when you're like, you want to use the proof of point, like, yes, I have argued with women. Right? That tells you a lot. Right? That tells you a person who is close-minded, coconut-head, they will never learn. They will try to read books and try to turn it to exact science. It will not work. Get the fuck out of here with this dude. Look, let me tell you. Let's you see, so, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, no, let me, let me, let me get this right. No, so, first of no, all, no, you don't no, even know me to be talking to me crazy. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to let you, I'm going to let that fly. Cause bitch, when I raise my hand, you shut the fuck up. Do you understand me? I warned you. Trigger a lot. Don't worry, it won't come here and do that. But, I warned you, okay? Because I'm interviewing, so it won't do that. And there's no calling stuff, so but um this some of these people yeah these are men you have to shake them up okay because they, they have coconut head and they don't they're naturally not open they're disagreeable that's the nature of men and um that's why it's very hard for them to learn anything new shout out to uncle ekene ikangu it's very hard for them to learn anything new because they're close-minded by nature they are disagreeable so sometimes they need to be confronted like this for them to get it now you don't have to do that i'm talking about between men uh ladies you don't have to do that if you have to do that it's bad it's just bad okay it's not gonna work <laughs> you shut your gut get some information because y'all act wait, like y'all the guru wait, wait, wait get your fucking next next nope we ain't doing it we're not doing it you're not <laughs> show running your bitch ass mouth you you asked us a question we're trying to tell your bitch goofy ass. Let's look what this bitch motherfucker said. The bitch said that he argues with women and he makes emotional connections with women. The bitch said he learned game from Kevin Samuels and Anton Daniels. The fuck out of here. I, I say to Anton's face here and in his fucking face. That bitch ain't got no game. Kevin Samuels ain't got no game. The motherfucking bitch said code approaching in frames. Get the fuck out of here. Hold approach and friends. You ain't got no game. <laughs> Sitting around here talking about I argue with women. And I and I and I'm trying to make an emotion. Bitch, shut your fucking dog. Nah, he said that he had to pick up his kids and he only known this woman for six months. That's crazy. Fuck out of here, man. How you got a woman picking up your kids and you only know her And where are these kids from? Oh, well, he's 39. It's been around. It's been around the block. For six months. Come on, man. Y'all got it. Y'all got to be careful. And, and you know what's so crazy about motherfuckers don't have game? 
You, if you have all this game, then why the fuck you calling us? You want to know why? Because we go know that you don't have game. Yeah, it's ain't easy. Got no game asking. It's not easy for everyone, but it's easy. <laughs> that bitch ass shit. Talking about frames and code approaching. Talking frame about code approach. Me, I want to be using language like code approach and frame. That's just stupid. Connections and arguing with a woman. Get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck argues with women? <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop that. Let me just read some of these comments. Let me know your thoughts so far. That's the end of that clip. I just thought it would be interesting for you guys to see what's going on out there. So uh, these are some of the thoughts that are going through um, uh, people's mind when it comes to this dating scene, right? People are lame. It's a lot of people that are lame and they refuse to learn the game. It's too many people on both sides, to be frank with you, you know? Uh, when they are confused, instead of them to admit with their full chest and said, I'm confused, I want to learn something, I want to invest some time to learn how this works, at a nuanced level, they start throwing stupid uh, terminologies around, thinking they can game us. We can tell, you know, we can tell that you're lame. Uh, and the, the terminologies, I'm going to ask you, what do you mean? You're going to have to give me an example, you know. But let me read some of this comment. Let's see if there's any more juice in it uh this person how are you gonna take a jab at a dead man what the f kind of beta male ish trying to slap a body that can't fight back ah they're coming for them uh why in the f are y'all attacking this dude we just had questions what the f is wrong with y'all that shit is corny no it's not no it's not he came there trying to deceive them so he got got his uh, mas is mas is masculine identity similar to masculine frame is stupid. Period. Uh, somebody said, "Nah, Kevin was that dude and helped a lot of men." See, that's another lame one talking. No, no, no shots against Kevin. I, I, I don't think Kevin doesn't have game. I think that a lot of the people that followed him are weirdos. Okay, that followed him religiously like that. They are weirdos. Nah, Kevin was that dude and helped a lot of men help better themselves. No, I think he actually created net negative. Actually, to be honest, that's my observation deal with it so how did you help this guy out uh they helped everybody that's watching okay don't go on a show and go and deceive yourself that some of us will catch you before you stop before you say one sentence and sometimes we'll let you slide sometimes we'll catch you right in the middle of it so you can see what is going on so you can go back and rewatch it right so you can maybe get the help that you need okay uh it's a learn you can learn it you can actually learn how not to be socially awkward you're 39 it's kind of difficult but you can actually learn it you know somebody said not being emotional or arguing with women is a narrative you all push mm -mm, no this might be a woman saying this yeah um yeah this is yeah it's not a it's men don't win with arguing with women period period it's a waste of energy you're you're going to lose respect it's as simple as that you're going to lose respect for him he's not going to earn respect why because he's competing with you that just makes sense okay now that doesn't mean you won't make that mistake but at least you need to be aware that this is the result you will create every time you do that okay but the response to the caller was the equivalent of a woman uh, this is two men talking you ever been to a barber shop with one woman in the corner before okay go and watch barber shop the movie okay all right, but the response to the caller was the equivalent of a woman arguing and throwing insult. No, it's not the equivalent. It's actually men involved in this. He didn't even get to ask his question. He did ask the question. The question, not only was it, um, okay, it's a good question, but he, he was combative with the asking. He did, welcome, babe. He, he, he didn't even get to ask his question. If this question wasn't in line with the current topic, why not direct him? to your email or inform him of the bad boy membership like you usually do no 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 that was a moment that needed to be caught uh kevin had game but a lot of his content focused on women when you pay attention to how he moves he had game i would agree with that that's why i said the, the followers did not get the message at, at all um anton can only speak on how he maintained his marriage with his one wife anton has no experience with dating that's false Anton is just lame. You can't put the excuse on marriage. Okay. <laughs> so there are married people that are lame. Right? This 39 year old man has kids and you know, so he doesn't matter, you know. But that's that's that goes to tell you how easy it is to actually attract love. You don't really have to do too much. You know, just a little bit of awareness will get you what you want, you know. Um 
Kevin is a high value trick that can only teach you how to dress. <laughs> see assessment, see analysis. Even Kevin said he would go to ARC to improve his verbal seduction game. Ah, that's so extra. Yeah. So why would a dude go to this two for verbal seduction game to keep women around? Now here's the thing, depends on what you're looking to accomplish, right? For for example, uh Lacario, if you're looking to be in poly type of weirdo type of situation, go and meet Lacario, right? If you're looking to be in marriage, you need to also pay attention to the person you're learning from, right? But again, I think there's some commonalities when it comes to social skills, right? That we can all learn from, you know. Like first of all, don't like don't call into a show talking about I got I got, I got game, I, I I have no problem getting girls. Uh you wouldn't call into the show if that's the case. You're a liar, okay? Uh, Kevin Samuel wasn't focused on teaching game or neither is Anto Daniels. That's a good point. I'm got, I've got mixed stance on this. It's funny, but I don't want to be talked to like that. Yeah, don't call into a show trying to lie to. Uh, that's how you don't get talked to like that. How do you learn from your mistakes if you feel like you want to fight the teacher? <laughs> All those ones are here policing how they teach. Anyway, the point is, uh, the point is this. Okay. What is the point, Seth? I think the point is Kevin Summers and Anton Daniels. How about I leave it right there, and then we'll go to the uh, to the headline topic of the day. Let's just leave it at that, okay? Let me see. Loud to say, hey, bro, get off the mic. Are you talking about the Lacarius mic? That mic was loud as shit. Uh, yeah. Let's leave that at that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you watch this video later on. I want to know your thoughts. If you follow Lacario, you follow uh what's his name steve williams and you feel like let me know your thoughts about that you know uh but my own personal opinion is that that was a moment that need that I, that some people need to see um if you have to talk about it there's a chance that you're not sure of yourself and um you know just how you carry yourself is usually enough okay uh if somebody is disrespectful to you you can open your mouth and talk if you feel some type of way you can open your mouth and talk but you need to understand the limitations of words and uh, verbal expressions uh, you know majority of our communications and vibes and energy transfers are non-verbal so just just be aware of that so maybe you should humble yourself before you approach any kind of situation all right with that being said i want to talk about ryan shazier really quickly and then we'll round off the show all right i'll be right back <laughs> Touching and kissing me up on the floor, the couch in the kitchen. One love enough, we done enough. 